How to install your Forbo Allura dry back floor. What do we need? A heavy pressure roller. Eurocoll 640. Trowel. Utility knife. Utility knife hooked blade. Ruler. A pencil and a chalk line. Step 1. General advice. Always conduct moisture tests on all substrates. All ground-based level floors should have an effective moisture barrier. Temperature info. The laying area is at a steady temperature of minimum 18 degrees Celsius for 48 hours prior to, during and for 24 hours after installation. The material and adhesive should be conditioned in closed packaging in the same environment for at least 24 hours prior to the installation. Acclimatize Allura dryback tiles stacked, maximum 5 cartons and laying flat. Step 2. Check the materials. Check the materials for the same batch and color number to prevent color differences. Also check if the right quantity is received. The batch number is clearly marked on the material packaging and must be checked before commencement of installation. Step 3. Apply adhesive. Measure the center of the room and draw a line. Calculate how many tiles you need from the drawn line. Then draw a second line so you will know how much adhesive to spread. This is because you can't be on the tiles when they are installed. When installing Allura dryback tiles and planks, a low emission EC1 adhesive is recommended, such as Forbo Eurocol 640. Use a trowel to apply the adhesive. The adhesive must be spread evenly over the entire floor area with particular attention to edges. This will ensure that the sheet is fully bonded at the perimeters. Step 4. Laying and cutting tiles. Allura dryback should be installed directly from the box. There is no need to shuffle tiles as there is a wide variety of tiles available in one box. Begin laying tiles at the starting point, ensuring that the tile is laid exactly along the layout line. After the first tile, cut a tile to place next to the first tile so you get a pattern. Use another tile to get a straight line. You can use a utility knife to cut the tile. After one cut, you can bend the tile and cut it with a hooked blade. Place the cut tile next to the first tile and the other part next to that second tile. Check if you have enough bonding between the glue, the subfloor and the tile. One should prevent a too dry adhesive. Always respect the open time of the adhesive, keeping in mind the local conditions. When you reach the wall, lay the tile against the wall and cut the tile with a hooked blade. Allura dryback can be easily bent in the corner and cut at the right length, leaving no gap to the wall. Step 5. Rolling. After the first row is installed, use a heavy roller in every direction to ensure a firm bond. Areas that cannot be rolled with the large roller, e.g. abutments, such as door frames or skirting boards, should be rolled with a hand roller or pressed into the adhesive with a rubbing hammer. Always clean away excess adhesive with a damp cloth before it is allowed to dry. Now complete the installation and re-roll the whole area with the heavy roller once more. Step 6. Cleaning the floor. The completed installation should be cleared of scrap metal and debris. The floor swept or vacuumed, and any traces of adhesive residues removed from the floor and skirtings.